All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the most wonderful time of the year. It's March Madness time. Um, we're obviously both big sports fans, but we think this is the premier event in the sports calendar season. Um, most of the time we're on here, I feel like we know what we're talking about, but at least in this case, I have no idea. So don't take any of this seriously, but this will be fun. Yeah, um, like Sam said, um, for me at least, March Madness is the – most fun event of the year tops the Super Bowl and NBA Finals for me. Um, I know a yeah, little bit about college basketball this year. Just in like the last couple of weeks, I've kind of been doing a little bit of homework on who's not fake and who's actually real contenders. Okay. okay. No, but I've yeah. just been – I know nothing. That was the goal coming into this bracket, and <laughs> it's uh, held up. This is the first time I've really been looking at it, so I'll be filling this out live. Hopefully, you all can see my screen. Let's go, cool, um, but uh, I feel like every March Madness, I go through a, a cycle of getting really into it the first weekend, and then all my teams lose. And so then I don't really watch the second weekend, but then once you get to Final Four, it's good anyways, so I watch. Um, yeah. But that the first weekend, accurate. probably like – like the first Thursday is probably my favorite day of the sports season. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. Like, bro, when we, get, when we get exams on Thursday, go home, watch March Madness all day, gonna that's going to be hype. That's going to be real hype, yeah. Okay, so without further ado, let's yeah. get into it. I'm going to start out um, – you have it on your screen too, huh, Connor? Yeah, I got it. Let's start out with the Alabama at the top. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty free pick. Obvious pick there. Yeah, Alabama okay, um, over uh, southeastern Missouri. Maryland, West Virginia. I think West Virginia has, like, a good coach, so I'm going to go with them. Yeah, with West them. Virginia does have a good coach, but I feel like the few times I've watched Maryland and I've, like, just checked box scores – Maryland has done well. <laughs> so I'm going – I'm riding with the Turks. Okay, okay. All right, what do we got for the next one? San Diego State, Charleston. Yeah, we got SDSU, Charleston. 12-5 matchup. I'm going SDSU out of the Mountain West. Give me the match. Okay. Here's my thought on this one. I have never heard of Charleston basketball. So if they're a 12 <laughs> seed, they've got to be pretty good. Yeah, So I'm going to go – give me Charleston. Dude, that's, upset that's 12 you say that. So I was just like – filling out my women's bracket and um i saw princeton was like a 10 seed you gotta like, take it this has yeah like this has yeah. to be the best princeton that was like when when loyola life. chicago was an 11 seed they had to have known yeah okay um Furman, i think is in their first tournament in like an eternity they're up against virginia yeah um i'm gonna take virginia even though they burned me by losing to ohio last year give me the paladins I like it. That's I got Furman. Um, you know, when I watched Virginia play against Duke, their offense looked ridiculously stagnant. Yeah, no, they were just they had a disappointing uh, kind of into the season, I think. Yeah. Um, Next, for, uh, Creighton versus NC State. Give me the Jesuit Blue Jays. You got to take the Jays, man. Come on. That's an easy pick. I'm also still salty that NC State beat LSU that one year. That's too easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't score for like the last 20 minutes of the game. <laughs> hey, sometimes it'd be like that. Facts. Okay. Um, Baylor and this is Santa Barbara. Yeah. I got I got beef with Santa Barbara because last year <laughs> I picked them. They were like a 12 seed and I picked them. And this dude blew a wide open layup to tie the game at the end. I so remember never, that. Yeah. yeah I, was, I was heated too. So give me Baylor. I think they were playing Creighton. Yeah. I got a. I got Baylor too. Um, oh, Santa Barbara was playing Creighton in the twelfth round. I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Air or not? No, we're not there yet. Okay. Uh, Missouri and Utah State. I gotta go SEC here. Give me the Tigers. Yeah, I got Missouri too. Give me SEC. And the um, next one, I'm going Arizona. I think Princeton won the Nerd Bowl against Harvard to get get here, but it was it, Yale. I'll take Arizona. It was Yale. Get it right, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so you, let's let's move on in the first round. Let's go to the Purdue uh, yeah. region. All right, so Purdue. Purdue that's normally obvious. known as for Purdue, but I got Purdue in this one. Yeah. I feel like FAU at a 9 seed has got to be good, too. Yeah, dude, but, dude, you have no idea how good Memphis is. I, I got Memphis. Give me them Tigers. All I know is Memphis lost to Tulane one time this year, so automatically they're out. Uh, Tulane? <laughs> Do you see what they did to them in the uh... – I know they, they got yeah. I'm pretty bad. sure they beat about like forty five. Yeah, it was bad. 
All right, Duke versus Oral Roberts. I might have said this to you earlier today, but like I wanted to pick Oral Roberts until they matched him up with Duke. So give yeah. me the Blue Devils. Give me the Blue Devils too. The Blue Bloods. All right, Connor. I know you got something for the next pick. Oh yeah, give me the Raging Cajuns, baby. <laughs> yeah. Tennessee's dealing with some injuries. I got UL. You know what? Last year, I think I picked Tennessee out in the first round to a team called the Longwood Lancers. So I think Ooh La La is a step up. Give me the Raging Cajuns. You just call it Ooh La La. Yep. Um, all right, Kentucky Providence, what do we got? I want to go with the Friars, but I go with Kentucky. I'll take the, I'll take the Friars for you. The Don't name you is too take. good. You take. The name is too good. John Calipari chokes every year. Give me Providence. That is fair. Um, All right, Kansas I, State, Montana State. Yeah, I'll go with Kansas uh, State. I'll take I'll the Wildcats Kansas here. State. Yep. I feel like every time I see Michigan State, I got to pick them to win at least a game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Tom Izzo is one of the greatest ever do it. Certainly. All right, and then the team that we're we're all rocking with here is Marquette. Give with, me Marquette. Uh, Gold. We like Marquette for no reason. Okay, let's go to the other side now for the Houston Regional. So we got we got H Town moving on. All right. Got, when it comes, a, go ahead. Okay, you go. All right. Yeah. So yeah. I got a I got a big beef with Iowa for what they did to me and Tyler last year. Yeah. Just for that reason, I'm going with Auburn. <laughs> I hope both of these teams lose. Also, for what Iowa did to everyone's bracket last year, but I think I'll take the I'll take the lesser of the two evils, and I'll take the Hawkeyes. They'll redeem themselves, maybe. I'll take actually. Um, um, Miami and Drake. I know Gianni's rooting for Miami, so I will take Drake. <laughs> the free pick. Oh, the passive aggressiveness. Yeah, I got Miami. Yeah. I like Isaiah Wong. Their point guard. Well, see, I know you like Indiana, so I'll take your word for it. Give me Indiana. Trace Jackson Davis, the best player in the country. Okay. Iowa State and. Whoever See, I, wins must right. be state and pit. So I was talking to Ryan Gaddy about this this game last night, and he says that whichever team wins, no matter if it's Pitt or Mississippi State, that they're gonna beat Iowa State. And just because he said that, I am going Iowa State. Yes, sir. Gaddy has notoriously bad takes. Yes. Um. But you know, I'll take Gaddy's word for it, though. I'll take the eleven seed. Yeah. Anyway, I have a reverse. I have a reversal pick because it just hit me that like Memphis beat Houston the other day, so I'm going to take Memphis back over FAU. Condolences to the Owls. Uh, Xavier and Speaking you know your owls, squad, Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State Owls. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I, I just like Kennesaw State. I'm aware. Um, yeah, you are. Um, yes. Dude, I want to go with Kennesaw State, but I'm gonna go Xavier. Gonna go with the Musketeers. There's just not a whole lot of better names in the Musketeers. Uh, I can name a few. A and M and Penn State. I have never seen Penn State in a bracket before. Give me the Aggies. All right, so I got Penn State. They just made a run to the Big Ten finals. Give me Penn State. Okay. Did not know that, but again, I, the whole goal was to know nothing. <laughs> okay, Texas and Colgate. I still hate Texas, but I'll take them. I hate Texas too. We gotta have like a watch party for some of these games, man. I like Tyler's. Dude, hype. Final Four watch party would be hype. Yeah. All right, next we got Kansas in the Kansas bracket. Give me Kansas. Um, let's see, Arkansas and Illinois. All I know is that Arkansas lost to LSU this year, so they've got to yes. be bad. Give me Illinois. All I know about Arkansas is they have a really good backcourt, but I think yeah, Indiana is just a better. Yeah, team, they did. So I give you. Fighting a line on. There you go. That's a better name than the Musketeers. I disagree, but I, it's it's a respectable take. Okay, St. Mary's VCU. This is an interesting matchup. What do we got here? VCU is a very boring team, but so is St. Mary's. So for that reason, give me St. Mary's. I'll go all out with the twelve seeds and pick VCU here. <laughs> um, I can't even say anything about that take. Hey, they made the final four that one year, so I pick yeah. them to win a round at least, at least one round every time. Yeah. Right, UConn versus about that. UConn versus Rick Pitino's Iona. What do we got? I got UConn. All right, I like it. I'll, I'll stick with it. Huskies is a good name. 
So that's what uh, we're not as good as horned frogs, but um, yeah, I'm going. I'm going TCU. TCU is very good this year. I hate Gonzaga, but I don't see them losing to a school called Grand Canyon. Same. <laughs> Give me the Bulldogs. Yep. Ooh, Northwestern Boise. This is it's interesting here. I think. <sighs> Give me the Wildcats. Yeah, I think last year I picked. Boise to beat Memphis in the first round and they didn't. So never again. Why do I cast. why do you remember that? Like I know you're right. I know Boise played Memphis in the first round. Dude, I'm I lock in like the first like there's 32 first round games. I probably watched like 25 of them. Like I'm so locked for the first Wait, weekend. I, I gotta give you respect for that. Gotta give you props. Dude, like I sit down at eleven o'clock and I don't stop watching till like eleven o'clock at night. Like it, it's a marathon. It's it's, it's, a, great it's a lifestyle for Sam. It is. Um, UCLA, I'm sure. All right, let's go back up to the top back here. Back to the top with Bama and the Terps. Um, give me Bama, man. They're definitely on paper the best team in this tournament. Yeah, I agree. Um, I hate taking them, but I'll take them. I feel really shady about picking Virginia to my Sweet 16. But I feel like I've got no choice at this point because I don't know if I'm picking Charleston all the way. So I'll take Virginia. <sighs> Here's where I shake things up. I got firmer in the Sweet 16. Wow. The Paladines to the Sweet I got, 16. I got firmer in the Sweet 16. That's a bold take. I like it. Okay. Um, Creighton versus Baylor. This would be a cool matchup, I think. I can't. Uh, I don't know if I can pick against the Blue Jays. Sam, you got to go Jesuit Blue Jays, bro. I got to. We all know I love Jesuits so much. <laughs> um, what, what do you got there? Oh, for Creighton Baylor? Yeah. Yeah, I got the Jesuit Blue Jays. All right, all right. Um, Missouri and Arizona. I got I'm trying to map this out here. Because there's no way I'm picking Alabama to my final four. So I'm trying to map out who I'm picking to beat them. Arizona has a really good front court. I got burned by him last year, though. Ben Matherin let me do it. But I, I, don't, I think I have to go with him here, though. So I'll take Arizona. I got Mizzou. Glad we can All right, I like that. Game. No, I wanted to make that pick, but I did not. All right, Purdue versus Memphis. I got Purdue. You know, I'm going to go all the way from picking Memphis out in my wow. first round to putting them through to the uh, Sweet 16. That is bold. Yeah. You can tell how well-researched I am. I like it, though. All right. Um, I think we both have Duke versus uh, the Cajuns here. Ooh la la. Ooh la la to the Sweet 16. <laughs> no, I, got Duke. I don't I think – Duke. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll take Duke as well. Give you ooh la la. All right. Um, Providence versus Kansas State, I think, is what we both have. No, I have Kentucky. Oh, you have Kentucky. Oh, that's right. right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I took them for you. What do you got there? I got Kansas State. They are they are really well coached, and they have better uniforms. That's the, I, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that one. But history tells us that each tournament has an 11 seed make the Sweet 16. <laughs> That's that crazy. 11 seed will be Providence this year. Mark it down. Mark it. And, and then we, we're we all Marquette fans here, so uh, give, me give me those Golden Eagles. Yep. All right, back to the top. Back to the top. I can't pick Iowa to win another basketball game. Give me Houston. I got Houston over Auburn. All right, Indiana versus – uh, Drake for me. I'll take Indiana. I got Indiana versus uh, Miami. I got Indiana in that matchup. All right, let's see. So I have the whoever wins the 11 seed playoff versus Xavier. I feel like I can't pick a team that I don't know to the Sweet 16, so I'll take Xavier. Ah, no. There's one. It happened. There's Voice one. crack. It's been uh, a while. I'm going to take the Cyclones to the Sweet 16. Okay. Right. I think, I mean, they, I think they made it there last year. Yeah, they did. They beat LSU. And Wisconsin. LSU. Wait, did LSU beat Bonaventure and then lose to ISU? 
No, we beat that was two years ago. We beat um the Bonnies and then we lost to Michigan. I swear we lost to Iowa State one year. Trend and Watford Loki kind of sold, but no, we we lost to Iowa State last year. Yeah, who do we beat in the oh was that the first round? No, that was the first round. We were the, somehow they got us in as a six seed. We should have been like a, a ten, but we got kind of beat down by Iowa State. Yeah. All right. And, uh, down here, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Texas, even though it pains me too. I am still salty at Texas for losing to Abilene Christian. <laughs> um, Scratch a cat. It was the um the cherry on top of my bracket day. Like literally the second game. I don't know. This might have been two years ago. The second game of the whole tournament was Oral Roberts versus Ohio State. My champion was Ohio State. Dwayne. That, that ruined my. Dwayne, yeah, Dwayne Washington. I, if I ever, if I ever make it big, I'm coming after him. Um, and then I was still watching that night, and I stayed up to see Texas lose to Abilene Christian. Never again. I hate the Aggies, but give them to me. Yeah, um, for my story about teams blowing my bracket, the, probably the first day me and T became close it was the first day of uh, the round of sixty four. And I had Purdue, me and Tyler had Purdue to our final fours in Elite Eight. I had them to my final four. And they lost to Northern Texas, North Texas. That's tough. Yeah, I think I remember that. Um, no, I, I, one thing I do like about March Madness is when you say, like, one of your, like, big teams lost and then someone says that you had them, that they had them too. I just feel so bonded with that person in the oh, moment. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. But moving into our final region of the second round, I think we both have Kansas, Illinois. Yes, we do. We do have Kansas. I'll take the Jayhawks. I'll go Jayhawks too. Grady Dick is uh, a really solid player. I agree. I agree. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad. So moving moving down uh, to VCU and UConn. I don't think I can pick VCU all the way. I got uh, to UConn, Saint Mary's, so and I'll, I'll take, take UConn. We take UConn, headed by a uh, Sonogo. That dude's really good. All right, um, TCU Gonzaga. I'll take I'll take the Zags, I guess. I got the Horde Frogs, Sam. As I told you, I got a, a six seven. Oh, that was Steve. that's a Cinderella. Okay, I like it. I got Northwestern over Ukla. All right, I'll take I'll take UCLA. I like. It. I'm gonna. I might just go for these picks, man, because we're getting down to it. Sweet 16. Let's go back to the top. Virginia versus Alabama. I can't take Virginia that far. They've burned me too many times. You have to go Bama here. I have to go Bama. I'm going Bama over Furman. Respectfully. respectfully. I'll go kind of chalk up here, and I'll take Arizona um, over Creighton. Uh, Because the rest rest of this bracket is about to get wild here. I'm taking the Jesuit Blue Jays into the Elite Eight. Yes, sir. I still have no idea who I'm going to pick as a champion here looking through this. <clears throat> we, make, okay. we, we make it up as we go. Yeah, we really do. Um, Memphis versus Duke. I can't pick a team that could lose in the first round of my Elite Eight. I mean, not that Duke couldn't, but like 8-9 is... About Duke winning. 8-9 is difficult, so I'll take Duke to the Elite Eight. I got Purdue over the Blue Devils to the Elite Eight. I like Purdue. All right. And then you have Marquette and K-State? I do. All right, what do you got there? Give me the Golden Eagles. Yes, sir. Uh, Same here. Providence's run ends. Marquette wins. All right, back to the top. top. Houston, Indiana. Give me Bloomington. I'm I'm salty about Houston last year, too. I'll take... Indiana. Give me Bloomington. Dude, I've been gassing up Indiana so much, dude. If they lose, <laughs> like the first round. I like I like picking Indiana. I do it every year. Yeah. Oh. Indiana's basketball school, too. Okay. Xavier, I feel like, always chokes. So, shock pick Texas A&M to the Elite Eight. Wow. I hate I the like Aggies, it. but I kind of got some faith this year. Yeah, so I got Texas, Iowa State. I got Texas. Texas is one of the few healthy um, upper seeds. So, yeah, I got Texas. Okay, moving back down. There's 
There's no way I, I, I really want to pick UConn here, but there's no way I can pick all one seeds to be out by the Elite Eight because I don't think that's ever happened. Or at least I doubt it. So I, I'll begrudgingly take Kansas. Good use of words, so. Yeah. I got a I got Connecticut. Yeah, I know. Okay, I think we both have or no, you have TCU and you see it and Northwestern. I want to hear yours on this. Yeah. So um right here, it's two of the same exact colors facing off. Yep. Power um, matchup. I'm gonna go to Texas Christian University. All right. Big year for uh TCU athletics. Yeah. Um I hate Gonzaga, but I know UCLA has got some injuries. So I'll take the Bulldogs. All so, right, Elite so how, Eight. Wait, what what are you looking like in the uh in the West? I'm I'm cool in the West. Um All right, bro. All right, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> um I have Bama versus Arizona and Duke versus Marquette. Right. So let's let's do it here. Elite eight. What do you have up top? I got Bam over Creighton. Sorry, Jesse Blue Creighton. Jays, but uh, do I, I will be done. I really don't want to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Give me Alabama. So if I um, yeah, I'll take Bama. Wait, I'm gonna... so you do have a one seed? Yeah, I'm gonna take a one seed there. I'll get I'll get oh, it over so with. You, okay. I see. Actually, no, no, no. Okay, screw this. I'm taking a one seat up there. I'm going back down, and I'm picking UConn over Kansas. I love it, Sam. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. We're go. switching things up here, and uh, um, we make it up as we go. <laughs> yeah, we really do. Um, and then down here, do we both have Duke and Marquette, or do you have Purdue? I have Purdue and Marquette. Okay, what's the pick? I got Purdue. I really like Purdue this year. All right, I like it. So this is this is my bias here. I feel like if these two teams played, I think Duke could probably win, but I'm not gonna pick Duke over a team that I like. So give me the Golden Eagles to the Elite Eight or not to the to the final four. I was yeah. dead set on sending Marquette to my final four this year. So give me Made that. It happen. Yep. And then up top, on the other side, I think we might end up with the same final four here on this side. Look at that. I got uh, Bloomington again. I, I can't pick a seven seed all the way, so I will take Indiana as well. Who, wait, who is your seven seed? Um, Texas A&M. Oh, yeah, you got A&M. And down here, I have Gonzaga versus UConn. What do you have? I have UConn versus TCU. Ooh, 4-6. Yep, I'm going. What do you got? Uh, Connecticut to my final four. You know what? I'll go Connecticut too. I think I don't know. Maybe maybe we've been talking about it a little too much. We ended up ended up similar, but uh, so final have? four, final four. I have Alabama, Marquette, Indiana, and UConn. So you have one team different. Yeah, I have Alabama, Purdue, Indiana, UConn. All right, let's do this on the other on the left side. Let's go Alabama and and uh, and Purdue. What do you got? This pains me, man, but I'm going Bama. That is a disgusting take. Uh, Disgraceful. I I really wanted to pick Marquette, and I'm gonna do it. Give me Marquette to the national championship. And the on the, on the other side, I want to pick first here because I want to make sure there's no uh no bias. I feel like I feel like UConn always comes up big in the tournaments. And Indiana's kind of been failing me the last few years, so I will. T- I'm gonna take the Huskies. Sam, we have the same yeah. championship game. No, we don't. I I have Marquette over Alabama. Oh, oh, you're right. My bad. Okay, so I got, I my only UConn. one of my few goals. Are you? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you got UConn too. Okay. Um, so one of my few goals for this bracket was to pick a different champion than my dad because we picked the same champion the last three years. So I think. I think I might be achieving it this year. Um, there you go. All right, national championship game. You, I want you to go first. UConn versus Alabama. Who's taking it? You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm taking Bama. I got UConn. Hell yeah, baby. Huskies raising what up, it up. Huskies. Um, UConn and Marquette. Big I, East like, showdown. 
at I know old school. Um, at the start, like of the season, or not like in midway through the season, I I wanted to know nothing, but I saw Marquette in the top ten, and I was like, I gotta go for this. Give me the Golden Eagles <laughs> to win it. the national championship. Let's Marquette's go. winning it all. All right, we by, gotta make a tiebreaker here. Let's say a score of let's go eighty two to seventy eight. I'm gonna go Marquette wins the championship. UConn over seventy six. You, I like it. Wow, right. this is we got it. Um, Marquette and um, UConn, you national champions. Yep, CD and Sam right here. It's, it's pretty much a guarantee. If I was a betting man, I would put all my money on this. Um, but yeah, I'm not it. All right. That it's been a fun episode thank y'all for making it all the way to the end if you did probably my this. favorite episode we've ever all this yeah no it's been cool like we've been able to screen share it too yeah um but yeah we'll uh we'll probably make a march madness uh video at some point just to talk about it yeah definitely so stay stay tuned and uh cue the outro sam, sam and cd cd and sam, CD and sam.